Judges chapter 3 is significant in the Old Testament. It tells of a turbulent time for the Israelites. A recurring pattern emerges. Sin, oppression, repentance, and deliverance. This chapter introduces the first judges, raised by God to deliver the Israelites. It reveals God's mercy and judgment, highlighting his faithfulness. Ultimately, these stories point to Jesus Christ, the ultimate deliverer. The struggles of the Israelites resonate with our own. Judges chapter 3 reminds us of God's steadfast love and mercy. The book of Judges reveals a recurring pattern, sin, oppression, repentance, and deliverance. The Israelites repeatedly turned away from God, worshipped other gods, and adopted the customs of the surrounding nations. This disobedience led to oppression as foreign powers conquered and ruled over them. In their distress, the Israelites cried out to God and repented of their sins. God, in his mercy, heard their cries and raised up judges to deliver them. These judges were often ordinary people, but God empowered them to lead Israel to victory. This cycle of sin and deliverance is a central theme in Judges. It reflects the human condition. We too fall into sin and experience the consequences of our choices. Yet we can turn back to God and seek his forgiveness. He offers redemption and restoration. The stories in Judges illustrate God's patience and love. He continually offered his people a chance to return to him. He is always ready to forgive and restore. This cycle provides a framework for understanding the entire book of Judges. Othniel was the first judge of Israel. He was Caleb's nephew, a man of courage and faith. God chose him to deliver the Israelites from Kushan Rishathaim, the king of Mesopotamia, who had oppressed Israel for eight years. Othniel led the Israelites to victory, defeating Kushan Rishathaim and bringing peace to the land for 40 years. This period of peace signifies God's blessing, following a time of repentance and obedience. Othniel's story demonstrates God's power to deliver. His victory serves as an example of God's faithfulness, responding to the cries of his people and providing deliverance from their oppressors. He empowers ordinary individuals to accomplish extraordinary things. Othniel's leadership brought hope to the Israelites and marked the beginning of the cycle of judges. He set the precedent for future leaders, demonstrating God's provision for his people. Othniel reminds us that God is always present and ready to help those who call upon him. Ehud was the second judge of Israel. He was a Benjamin and left-handed, a detail that plays a crucial role in his story. God used Ehud to deliver Israel from Eglon, the king of Moab, a cruel and oppressive ruler. Ehud devised a clever plan to assassinate him. He presented Eglon with a tribute and then used his left-handedness to his advantage by concealing a dagger and fatally wounding Eglon. Ehud's actions were daring and effective, freeing Israel from Moabite oppression. His story highlights God's use of unlikely individuals. God can use anyone to accomplish his purposes, often choosing those who appear weak or insignificant. Ehud's left-handedness was not a disadvantage. It became a key element in his victory. God can use our perceived weaknesses and transform them into strengths. Ehud's story is a reminder that God works in unexpected ways. Shamgar is the third judge mentioned in Judges 3. He is a relatively obscure figure. His story is brief, yet it is still powerful. He single-handedly defeated 600 Philistines. He used an ox goad as his weapon. An ox goad is a simple farming tool. It is not a weapon of war. Shamgar's victory demonstrates God's power. God can use ordinary objects for extraordinary purposes. He can empower individuals to overcome overwhelming odds. Shamgar's story emphasizes God's sovereignty. He is not limited by human limitations. He can use anyone or anything to achieve his will. He chooses the weak to confound the strong. He chooses the foolish to confound the wise. Shamgar's brief account serves as a powerful reminder. God can work through anyone. He can work through anything. He can bring victory even in seemingly impossible situations. His power is limitless. God intentionally left some Canaanite nations unconquered. This was not an oversight. It was a deliberate part of his plan. These remaining nations served a purpose. They tested Israel's obedience. The Canaanites represented a constant temptation. They practiced idolatry. They engaged in immoral behavior. They challenged the Israelites' commitment to God. The presence of these nations provided opportunities for spiritual growth. These nations also served a practical purpose. They provided military training for the Israelites. They forced them to learn warfare. They prevented them from becoming complacent. They kept them vigilant. God uses trials and challenges to refine his people. He uses them to strengthen their faith. He uses them to draw them closer to himself. 
The unconquered nations played a crucial role in this process. The judges in Judges 3 prefigure Jesus Christ. They served as deliverers for Israel. They rescued them from oppression. They pointed towards a greater deliverer. Jesus is the ultimate savior. The cycle of sin and deliverance foreshadows the Christian experience. We fall into sin. We need a savior. Jesus offers forgiveness. He offers redemption. He offers eternal life. The judge's victories were temporary. Jesus' victory is eternal. He conquered sin and death. He offers lasting freedom. He offers true peace. The stories in Judges 3 remind us of our need for a savior. They point us to Jesus. He is the one who can truly deliver us from our enemies. He is the one who can offer us lasting hope. Judges 3 provides valuable lessons for believers today. It reveals the cycle of sin and deliverance. It introduces the first judges of Israel. It highlights God's faithfulness. It points to Jesus Christ. The stories of Othniel, Ehud and Shamgar demonstrate God's power. He can use ordinary people to accomplish extraordinary things. He can deliver his people from any oppression. He is always ready to forgive. He's always ready to restore. The ultimate message of Judges 3 is hope. Even when we fall into sin, God is ready to deliver us. He offers forgiveness and restoration. He provides a way back to himself. Jesus is the ultimate deliverer. Judges 3 is not just a historical account. It is a story of God's love and faithfulness. It is a reminder that he is always with us. He is always working for our good. He is the source of our strength. He is the source of our hope. Are you ready for the next chapter? Just click here to go straight to it.